Next, we'll talk about the Porter generic strategy of Nautilus. Nautilus would be considered a broad differentiator. Also, their closest competition would be broad differentiators as well, such as Cybex and Icon Health. Other substitutes, such as Beachbody and P90X, would fall in the other three categories, like narrow differentiation, or cost leadership, or cost differentiation. Nautilus's focus is on the quality of the product and the brand, not so much the cost. So cost leadership would be the alternatives that I have described. Moving into some possible strategy selections for Nautilus going forward with the company. Pairing a weakness of their smaller market share with an opportunity of expanding into new international markets that they have recently been getting into, they could use a weakness and opportunity strategy as a mix of selling to home users, which they currently only do, and beginning to sell to public gyms to gain a larger market share. We feel as though they could do this all internationally in European markets to see how it goes there first before doing it in America. We feel that the European market has solid growth possibilities, so this would be a good area to test this out in. Additionally, a strength of lowest bid manufacturing with an opportunity of technology development, they could use a strength and opportunity strategy of producing a new line of technology by utilizing their lowest bid manufacturing. They could do this before any other company gets into this kind of stuff and get customers to purchase their products first with new technology. As for the remaining two strategies, the first one we wanted to pair weakness of the high price point of equipment for Nautilus with the threat of the increase in people unemployed and in lower classes. For this we would use a weakness threat strategy with the need to progress into selling to public gyms in some capacity. While I just discussed this in the previous slide, growing internationally doing this, we want to do it in America as well. People that do not have excess income will most likely not purchase our equipment as they will not have the excess income to do so. So in order to reach a larger target market, we want to sell to public gyms because people that want to work out still that do not have enough income to buy home gym equipment will still want to go to public gyms and we can reach them there. Additionally, a strength of customer loyalty and brand depth with a threat of the substitutes such as home fitness programs like Insanity and P90X, we could use a strength and threat strategy to acquire or establish an exercise program that would compete with alternatives. As for some of the pros and cons of the strategies we selected, the pros of going into international markets would be increased revenue, improved reputation, and increased market share, while the cons are the possibility of failure in the European market with uncertainty surrounding it and the fact that expansion is very expensive for a company like Nautilus. The pros of getting into new technology would be giving people what they want and appealing to the new technology wave that consumers are enjoying nowadays. And the cons would be the possible research and development costs hurting our margin or the possible hikes in cost of manufacturing and disruption of current agreements with manufacturers. Moving on with the pros and cons of some of our strategy selection, the strategy of getting into public gyms, the pros of that would be increased market share, increased revenues, and the ability to reach out to public gym members that would not originally use Nautilus's equipment. The cons would be the company could easily lose company focus and their reputation as a home gym provider by providing to public gyms. They also may not be able to get in with that many gyms after not selling to them for years. The strategy of getting into home fitness programs like Insanity and P90X, the pros of that would be the increased market share, reaching new customers, and higher revenues. But the cons of that would be the acquisition could be very expensive and there's a high possibility of failure if they were to start up their own company, not being able to compete with the likes of Insanity and P90X. We decided that the best overall strategy for Nautilus would be getting into home fitness programs like Insanity and P90X. We figured that if we could start up or purchase a company like this, this would be most beneficial with sticking with the theme of home gym provider that Nautilus currently has, as they wouldn't lose their identity, and it also prevents a great way to prevent a threat seen in the market. Substitute products are taking a large chunk of the market share from them and they would be able to additionally increase their market share. 